In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with open floor plan for equity. For this video, we've got our site set up here. It's just got the basic WordPress install. Uh, this is the default 2015 theme. Uh, when your site is set up, it may have a slightly different uh, WordPress theme, maybe the 2014, which is like black and green. But this is just the default install. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download the zip files for equity and for open floor plan. Uh, you should have received an email with the link to those downloads. If not, you can just go to Agent Evolution over to my account. There we go. Click on my account. And you should have um, those downloads under my API downloads for both the, the theme and for equity. And you can download them directly from there. I've already downloaded them to my desktop. So now we're going to start with the installation. So let's go back to our site. And we're going to go to the dashboard of our site. Once in the dashboard, you go to Appearance. Under Appearance, you select Themes. Okay, now once you're in Themes, you click on Add New. And we're going to upload the Equity Framework first. It's important that you do the Equity first before you do the Child Theme. So we're going to upload the theme. Choose File. Like I said, it's on my desktop, so I'm going to go down here and select it from my desktop. There it is, Equity Zip. And click Install Now. Okay, now that's installed. There's no need to activate it. It just needs to be installed. So we're going to go back and repeat the process for the child theme. We're going to go to Appearance Themes, Add New, Upload Theme, Choose File. Now we're going to look for that Open Floor Plan zip file. There it is. And click Install Now. Now we're going to go ahead and activate that theme. Okay, and you can see the little preview here. So let's go back to the front of our site and refresh. And there we go. We've now installed our <coughs> excuse me, our open floor plan. Now you can see it needs some configuration and we'll cover that in the other videos here under the tutorials. Uh, now some cl uh, clients feel that it helps if they have some sample content to get started with. And we do have sample content included in that open floor plan zip file. So once you download that zip file, um, use whatever extraction program you have and extract that file and you will get um, these subdirectories inside that zip file. Images, language, lib, plugins, XML. Now the first thing we want to do if we're going to import content, we want to import the WordPress content and it's located here in XML. I'm going to open this up and you'll see you have the basic content which is your post, pages, menus. Um, you also have another WordPress XML file that's for listings. Now if you're not going to use an IDX you might want to go ahead and import that listings file. It uses the WP listings plugin. It allows you to uh, manually add listings to your site and have search and widgets for listings without an IDX. Um, for this demo, we're going to do it for no IDX. We're going to set up the WP listings. So we're going to import these two files first. There's also some other sample files here. There's WIE files, which are widgets, and we'll do those a little later. And there's also a, a soliloquy slider file that you can import the slider just like we have on the demo. So let's start with the WordPress import. Let's go back to the dashboard of our site. And under Tools, we're going to select Import. Under Import, we're going to select WordPress because these are WordPress files. Okay, now if you don't already have the WordPress importer plugin installed, you will get this pop up to go install it. So let's go ahead and install that. And then we want to activate the plugin and run the importer. 
Okay, now that we've done that, we just choose that file from that open floor plan zip file. So let's choose the file. We're going to choose first the one that was uh, just the basic content. Upload file and import. Now once that's uploaded, you have some options here that you want to set. The first is import author. Um, if you're already on your site, you probably want to assign those posts to yourself. In this case, it's Agent Evo. Or you can create a new user. So you can set the user that would be attached to these posts and pages here. Uh, next, under Import Attachments, you want to be sure and check this box to download and import file attachments. Uh, these are the images that are attached to your posts and pages. So once we've done that, we can click Submit. Okay, we've now imported that content. Um, you'll see you have a couple of failures here. These aren't important. Um, we had a couple that said it already existed and the slider, which we'll do later in another video. So now if I go to post in my dashboard, you'll see we've import, imported these posts. And go to pages and you'll see we've imported the pages. And if you go to appearance menus, you'll see we've imported the menus. Now we'll cover menus in another video, but it does import the ones from the demo. Um, now the next thing we want to do is we want to import those listings. So to do that, we have to first install and activate the WP Listings plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. And we want WP Listings. There we go, WP Listings by Agent Evolution. So let's install that and let's activate it. Okay, now that we've activated it, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go back to Tools Import again. And just like we did before, we're going to select WordPress. We're going to choose that file. And we see now we've got the uh, Open Floor Plan Listings XML we're going to select this time. And we're going to go through the same thing where we assign the author and download and import file attachments. Okay, now those have been imported. You'll see I have some failures for bedrooms and bathrooms because I haven't set up those bedroom and bathroom taxonomies in my listings. And you can do that under listings. Uh, register taxonomy. So you register a taxonomy for bedrooms and one for bathrooms and set those up first and those will also import or you could just do it later after you've imported them. So let's go to listings now and look at our listings and you'll see now the demo listings have now been imported into your site. Okay now the next thing we want to do is we want to import some widgets so we don't have to reconfigure those widgets. Uh, to do that, you need a plugin called the Widget Importer and Exporter plugin. So let's go back to plugins and install that plugin. We're going to add new, and it's called Widget Importer and Exporter. There we go. Widget Importer and Exporter. And let's activate it. Okay. So now, <clears throat> under Tools, we now have a new option under Tools called Widget Importer and Exporter. So we're going to select that. And now for Import Widgets, it says select a Wii file. We've got that in the open floor plan, so let's go ahead and choose that file. And we've got two, one for that uses IDX Broker Widgets and one that uses no IDX. Um, since we're setting this up for no IDX, we're going to select that one. And we're going to import the widgets. And you'll see it didn't import the soliloquy because we haven't set that up yet. But the rest of them have been imported. Okay, now let's go back to the front of our site and refresh. And you'll see now we've got our widgets set up. We've got uh, sample content in there. So it's, it's much easier to get started if you go ahead and 
um, import that sample content. Now the last thing you need to do after you've installed your uh, equity and child theme is to enter the equity API key. Uh, that's listed under my account. You will have the API key listed here under your my API keys. It should also have been in the email that you received. So you will need that API key and that API email. And you do that under equity, select license, and you just enter those in the two license fields there. So that's how you get started with Open Floor Plan for Equity.